Hi, I'm Bob Effendi, Chief Operating Officer PT Torcon Power Indonesia. We just finished a five days workshop seminar on the Torcon detailed design uh, and safety documentation. And uh, with us is uh, Dr. Kunchen, Torcon Chief Nuclear Officer. Uh, one of the lecturers, he was in Synap uh, and then in Maltex now with Thorcon. Uh, Kun, good morning there. Right. Good morning. Uh, what do you think the workshop uh, went? Uh, is it uh, successful? Was it not successful? And how do you see Bapaten perceive the workshop? Well, I think we had an extremely successful workshop and I'm very much surprised by the level of engagement and that we can have with the regulators Babata. And uh, I had a very good discussion with many members of them. Uh, they asked very insightful questions. We were able to uh, provide our perspective and thoughts to them, and they are very much engaged, as I said. So uh, I think uh, from their uh, point of view, uh, we also had a very successful workshop and uh, I expect them to come back to us uh, with questions and uh, we're very much looking forward to uh, further engagement with them. And uh, in your opinion, the approach that we are doing in Forcon engaging like this type of engagement, you know, comparing to, because as you know that this is new to us, not only going to be the first nuclear power plant, but it is also a new type of reactor which is not yet covered in their regulation. Now, is this the right way to go? Well, this is a, a, a completely new level of engagement that we have with regulators. Nothing the uh, you know, same as the, my past experience with, with other countries. So uh, this is very uh, good for a developing nuclear, new nuclear technology in the country. And uh, I think uh, we all uh, are going to benefit significantly from this kind of uh, engagement. Okay, and last question is, if uh, you are saying this to the head of Bapatan right now through this video, what would you, your recommendation would be uh, to improve the engagement or regulation? What would be, if, let's say you are talking to the head of Bapatan, what would be your recommendation? Uh, I, I would say uh, to the head of Bapatan that uh, he has a, a, a tremendous talent the staff and they're very active. They, uh, they love the country of Indonesia. They want to uh, help the public. They want to uh, uh, make sure the nuclear technology is safe. And uh, so, uh, as we all know, the uh, the country has never had a nuclear power plant in the past. So, uh, people might perceive that uh, uh, the country has to follow uh, other countries' footsteps one by one. But that's not the case. Uh, we're talking about uh, the 21st century. We're talking about the new world, new technology, a completely new nation that uh, is going to benefit from nuclear. So uh, I would encourage the Bapatang to uh, take the lead uh, in the world that make the concrete step uh, to regulate and license a new nuclear technology, set example for the rest of the world, and be the lead of the world. Thank you very much, Gordon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. That is good. And uh, with us is uh, Dr. Petit. And uh, Dr. Petit, yes. uh, I would like to uh, ask your opinion. Yeah. What do you think uh, this activity benefit Bapatan? Is this beneficial Bapatan? If so, what, what is the benefit for Bapatan? Yeah, so first of all, we would like to convey our appreciation to Torcon for uh, re organizing this workshop because this workshop uh, helped us, uh, the regulators, but then to learn about the new technology that Torcon is trying to, to build in Indonesia. And uh, in any countries, it is very essential for the regulators to keep up with the technology and it is essential for us to be able to understand the design behind the, the nuclear power plant and be able to, to evaluate uh, and then provide a safety recommendation. Okay. And what are the spirit that, of course, this is your opinion, but what are the spirit uh, among the other colleagues in yeah. Bapatan regarding these uh, activities? Yeah, I mean, this is a, a very good opportunity 
for uh, any one of us from the regulatory body to be able to uh, learn about new technology and to get like to familiarize ourselves with this new advanced technology and then we are able to uh, to, uh, to work as a regulator to provide a safety evaluation and probably to license the nuclear power plant so it can operate in Indonesia safely. Thank you. And uh, we propose in, uh, at the end that in the closing we have three level of engagement, yeah. right? We have the technical working group, yeah. you know, that will meet every two months with Lars yeah, and yeah. Manu. And uh, we have also the safety assessment that we're yeah. going to do with UGM, UGM. Yeah. And of course, then the last one with the consultation period, right? Yeah, yeah. What do you think of this engagement? for BAPATEN? Yeah, so BAPATEN is uh, as a nuclear regulatory agency, we are very open to uh, consultation, uh, uh, discussion and uh, feedback. And uh, this uh, close engagement with the uh, operator or the license up, the future license applicant is very helpful because then we can anticipate issues, we can uh, communicate better and uh, remove any uh, the problems in the future so to make sure that this is like uh, in accordance to safety standards and in line with the uh, international recommendation. So having this close engagement, uh, you know, with the multiple uh, consultation meetings will help us to, to, to find the uh, common ground between us and to be able to uh, find uh, like the best solution so we can have uh, the, the safe nuclear power plant in Indonesia. Thank you very much, Dr. Patit. Thank you so Thank much. You yeah. much. Thank nice you. meeting Thank you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. And with us is Dr. Andang Widiharto, uh, University of Gajah Mada lecturer, which is one of the participants. Good morning, Dr. Andang. Good morning. Yes. Uh, two questions, Dr. Andang. First of all is, what do you think after hearing the five days presentation, the very confidential material presented by Lars and uh, Dr. Manu, what do you think uh, is your, your opinion on Forcon Design? Yes, um, I think Forcon Design is a uh, uh, impressive design, uh, mostly because uh, the look uh, design use uh, liquid fuel, uh, with, which is uh, different with uh, previous uh, low design, which mostly use. Uh, solid fuel yeah. the liquid fuel may uh, make simplify simplifying by using uh, liquid fuel we can simplify uh, many things uh, such as uh, fuel pressing uh, uh, before uh, using to the reactor and also uh, so, uh, many safety uh, system can be made uh, simplify with higher uh, higher safety level and higher safety level achievement. Okay. Okay. So the uh, next question, in your opinion, Dr. Andang, uh, what are the benefit of this type of workshop uh, for UGM as an academic institution and for BAPATEN? Yes. For our institution, this is a very, a very benefit, a very high benefit, because uh, uh, my institution, especially uh, I, uh, also uh, give a study about uh, multi-cell reactor, and so uh, the information from Torcon design will uh, give a very deeper understanding to our studies. And what do you think this benefit BAPATEN? Uh, BAPATEN also uh, will give a benefit, will, uh, will get the benefits uh, by um, maybe a new approach of license, uh, especially for uh, liquid nuclear fuel, uh, nuclear nuclear fuel designs, I think. Okay, Pandang, thank you very much yeah. for your time. Okay, good luck.